Hey, what's up guys? So greetings from the CBIT 2016. We're here with iptech and they have the new iBeam block there. So I've got here Ben from iptech and could you quickly introduce yourself? Yes, hello. Believe it or not, I'm Ben from iptech <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> um, they have released a new product, as I've told you. So what's special about the iBeam block? Well, uh, what's special about it is um, I can configure my system as, as I'd like to have it. So normally um, what I can do is I can simply purchase a projector. Um, if I'm happy with the fact that I need a, a cable to plug into the mains, then I'm happy enough. I can also connect into a, an HDMI cable from my computer, my laptop. But if I wish to have a bit more power for mo more mobility, I can purchase a power bank to go with it. Okay. I've got one. You can see it here. This is a projector. Okay. 300 lumens, 720p HD resolution. Okay. Here's the power bank, and the beauty of it is. Yeah, the connection. So, sorry, is it the native yeah. resolution 720p or? 720p, yes, yeah. correct. And they simply slot in together, kind of like uh, like Lego bricks. Okay, that's why we've called it I beam block. And they simply slot in together with these pongo pins and magnets. So easy to use, and that's it. So my projector now gets the power from the power bank up to four hours. Okay. okay? So just one question: Why is there actually a USB port if it's covered then? So could you use it as a normal power bank too? So if yeah, if, sure. if yes. we take that off, okay. Yes. Yes. And in addition, I can, I can uh, purchase this tablet, uh, tablet PC. When it comes out, it will not only be Windows, but also Android-based, so a dual system. And again, the same principle, it simply slots on the top. So obviously, I can have my whole content on my tablet PC. I've got Wi-Fi, I've, uh, I've got Bluetooth, everything I need on here. So cloud computing. It's actually set up here on, on the screen, so we can see. So I've got two options. I can simply use the touch screen with my fingers, but I can also plug in a mouse, you know, an external mouse or this, like a keyboard. Here we are. So I can access everything on the, on the computer via right here. Another important point is not just, not just the brightness, so the lumens are important, uh, not only the resolution, but also the pixels. So there's a brand new technology called Manhattan Pixels, as you can see here. Even fairly small text need to be very clear and sharp and focused. Yeah, it's okay. pretty important. I had some Chinese projectors and you could barely read any text even though they had 720p. So, you know, we're thinking not only for private use to watch, f you know, photos and videos, but also for business people who are using Excel. You know, if you're using an Excel, uh, Excel file, you need to be able to see what's on the, on the file, right? Otherwise, it makes no sense. Okay, so what about the specs of this tablet? So, can you maybe upgrade it in the future, like... You can certainly upgrade the storage. Um, it's got 32 gigabyte storage at the moment, and uh, 4.5 inches the screen uh, the screen size. And as I said, it's Windows and Android based. Okay, so um, finally, what's the runtime with the power bank? Uh, four hours. And in terms of the, uh, the deli delivery time, it'll be available in around about four weeks from now. So now it's uh, like mid March. So by by May, it'll be be available. Um, and in terms of pricing, our recommended retail price will be for the whole three, all three components, 699 euros for the consumer, including VAT, of course. And the projector itself will be 499. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Um, so you could just use the projector also with your computer, if I'm right, if yes, I understand correct. that correctly. Yes. Okay, so pretty cool. So some kind of portable solution, and you can build it together like Lego. <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, that's it. So you'll find more information down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. And that's the iptech iBeam blog. So thanks for watching and make sure you also watch our other videos from the CBIT 2016.